Well, while they are wrapping up getting that trade going for the Simic Ramp deck, I can at least pull it up. And I did want to give a shout out to Heighten O'Clock 19. Uh, thank you so much for coming up to me. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and right now we have a current leader. Kind of Days got it with 100 bits. How awesome is that? Um, so let's jump over to this copycat. Uh, not copycat, the Simic Ramp deck. Alright, so this deck is pretty straightforward in what it's trying to do. It's just like um, has the uh, all the dual lands that it can get in for the blue. So like the four botanicals, four breedings, and then um, all the forests. Um, it's also got four Nykthos, of course, because that card's absolutely busted. Um, and then we've got four Ley Lines of Abundance to help our Mana Dorks just generate an insane amount of mana. And then it also is a win con for us, you know, being able to pump into it. Um, we've got some great payoffs as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, four Elvish Mystics, four Land Orals, four Ulthanists really um, get an early ramp. And then uh, having, you know, Green Ponder at Ulthanissa and then Green Impulse with the uh, Once Upon a Time. And then we've got the Caridids to ramp even more. We've got Coursers, some Okos. Um, one Pelucranos, one Cura, Nissa, Hydra Krasis to draw an insane amount of cards, the Walking Ballista, and then we've got the Ulamog. Over in the sideboard, we've got some Shaper Sanctuary, some Veils, and Return to Nature. Um, Nissa, some Nalaya's Disciple for some life gain, some Voracious Hydra from Interaction, and then a, pith a couple Pithy Needles to stop some combos. No, this is still Pioneer, and yeah, I was on camera. That was pretty sweet. I was very excited to be on camera and to win on camera, too. They have it uploaded now, so if you guys did want to check that out, you can see uh, the SEG Atlanta match. We just shared it on the team page, so... Oh, this is a... Awkward hand. We're going to keep this, and we're just going to hope this once upon a time gets a screen source. I'm sure it will, right? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Was never sweating it. Oh, so rude. All right, well, we'll drop the carotid next. That way they can't shoot it down. I love this card. I played this in standard pretty much the whole time it was legal. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all right. We get to go one, five, drop the Nissa. Hope they don't have a counter. Come on, don't have it. Okay. That thing in the ice is going to flip pretty quick. Let's drop a Courser. See if we get some free lands. Okay. Crisis next turn is going to be pretty awesome. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. This is a bad matchup. Oh no! Are they just gonna flip their thinging and then make us feel bad about it? And that's why it's a bad matchup. They just bounce all of our things. 
I believe in us. We got this. See, it's another thing in the ice. Maybe they don't have two cantrips in their hand. Or two spells. <laughs> oh. Is it back to our turn? Oh boy. I just want to reload my hand. This is totally fair, drawing six cards. Yeah. This crisis was ridiculous. Alright, so most likely we're losing all of our stuff and it's all going to our hand. Yep. But how much can we rebuild next turn? We can go one dork, two dork. Nykthos, gain one, two, three, four, five mana. Then go Corsair into Karyatid. And then next turn. Oh, liquid metal coating? That seems pretty funny. We can drop another um, shock land, but that's going to put us in the danger zone well, with a, another flip thing in the ice. I don't want to do that. I think I'd rather just run out the courser. Play the land, gain some life, and then we'll just keep running out our stuff. Oh, that is game. Okay. So definitely Veil of Summers. Don't mind the Voracious Hydras to take out their stuff and then the Shaper Sanctuary. Corsair doesn't seem as great. We don't really need that much from it. Maybe not Walking Ballista either. Don't they play counters or no? Like there is a Charm Counters and I imagine they bring counters out of their side, right? Or am I thinking that, or am I thinking too much into what like modern one would have? Okay, well then let's dip that, and we'll just bring these in then. Mm, no ley line. 
But this doesn't seem bad. You guys are the experts. They drop thing in the ice, so we can run up this ley line safely, which would be cool. Also, they cast strategic planning. I like this old art version. Alright, so let's run that out. They are so rude. dropping any phoenixes in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Still no phoenix, and they just dropped the thing in the ice in the graveyard. It's got to be good for us. That's sad news for us. One, two, three, four, five. Six mana only. Okay, we just lost a lot there. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. Hmm.
Agreed. I should have. I uh, was definitely not thinking how much mana I actually had. I think it's just Oko here. Because I can only drop down two, add another five. So, yeah. Should I make... <laughs> I don't, it seems risky to make our land a 6-6 here. So we'll just scrape the food. One, two, three, four, five, six. does it just all like I don't know I guess it scares me going down to just you no know, one lamb maybe I shouldn't be scared of that and just ride the six six to victory Make this a 3 3. We'll swing. Yeah, I can see that. They have a lot of interaction with us, and the thing in the ice bouncing us is pretty awful, too. Cruises. Yeah, this seems like GG. For sure. Well, that makes me feel good about the deck choice, at least.
Mm-mm. Not Mel's crazy. We're all a little crazy, right? this get a lana werewolf run out said lana werewolf i don't black devotion probably right this is exciting i haven't played against this deck yet I can see it. Seems like you're worth following around. Just gives him plus one, plus one, right? seems really good here. but I go one two activate Nekthos, drop Leyline and do the rest. Should get pretty crazy. Play the new Nekthos, keep this one. Then we just want to run out our Nissa.
generate blue, run out Kiora. Generate blue, activate Nykthos. And then we're gonna activate this, untap this and this. And what, we're just gonna drop Courser, drop Courser, generate blue, activate Nykthos again. And then, ah, ah. And then we're gonna drop Oko. Turn this one into a 3 3. And then activate Lance, and then we'll activate Leonard a few times. No, oh, I should. That was a mistake. I should have uh, made this a dude first. Swing. I just got four. <laughs> uh, creature matchup, and they're aggressive. So let's bring in this. This does not play the X Nisa. Okay. I don't want to bring in this stuff. The go ride strategy usually invalidates Oko pretty badly. Maybe we can cut the Ulamog. Mm -mm -mm. Any other recommendations what we should be cutting here? Because Pelucranos, maybe, but that's going to help us drop a big boy right away and clear the board. Trim one here, one here, because they're going to be hitting our board a good bit. Trim that and play this. We'll try that. I think we've got a lot of stuff to help us just keep the board clear and still do our normal strategy and win with that. Okay. We'll keep this. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. One, two. Drop everything. Oh, if you get to untap, that's a really big ballista. Hopefully they don't have another Thoughtseize. Sweet. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it trying more mana? Target and non-creature land, okay. So, one, Two, three, four, five. Drop this. Yeah, it does. Seems great. Ooh, we get to go against our first aggro deck. Let's see how this goes. I feel pretty confident, honestly, in the side, too. We have like a lot of awesome things for it, but depends on how good they are keeping our board clear. They can hit us pretty well early on, though, I gotta say. Another Titan Strength? Don't do me. Don't do me like that. Um, I think we just want to run out this blue Kronos. Make a big body. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we can deal both of them three. Seems solid. Or I'm gonna kill this monstrous, right? So we just killed this. I could wait till next turn.
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just want to bring in these four. Uh, I don't think we need the Ulamog or the Kiora. Probably just turn one of those. Uh, maybe one Oko. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty funny. I think we're gonna keep it, but ship the Nissa. Cause we get like one door, cause hand just kind of starts going crazy, and we've got twelve of them. Just want to run out this big boy. Hmm, suspect. I don't think we're going to block. This Lanawar. This disciple. Feather, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just shy of killing Feather. And we can only pump out seven mana for Ballista, so it's still shy of killing Feather. Run out the ballista on three or hold up the monstrous. I think hold up the monstrous. Do we pump Polly and, and attack though? Like we're probably winning the race, right? Like, I can swing with both both Disciple and Pelucranos. If they choose to block Disciple with the uh, 10th Street, that's fine. We'll trade. If they want to block with Feather, then we can kill Feather. So, I think we can turn the corner and just go real aggressive here. They're tapped out, though.
Easy peasy. Not a crazy hand, but solid. We'll keep it. And it just went crazy. I agree. blue white control the savage <laughs> oh boy how do we how do we keep up with board wipes Do we just go for the Nissa here? Hope they don't have a counter. They have a counter. Okay. We didn't want anything anyway, opponent. plan. We got a clock. We only got two cards. We got this. <laughs> we just sent Oko to the bottom. There's search for us consoles online. That can't be good for us. Oh, and they have a nurse set. So this crisis can't draw his card. Uh, we're 2 0. So it's not terrible. I mean, two one. Sorry, two one. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Do I like just run out this? Three power crisis because I just need to be able to kill that Narsa to play this other one of relevance. They would have a verdict.
not looking good for us. Got a lot of things going on for their benefit. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Draw some cards. Yeah, I don't want to run the Nick though, so they're playing Field of Ruin. They're about to draw so many cards. Oh my god, are we back to the Elixir of Immortality loop uh, the white control? That's how they're going to win? Oh man. We're going in deep. Dig it. This list was in the top 16. Nice. I'll have to take a look, a deeper look at it. <laughs> yeah, we'll win by timing them out. <laughs> this Ulamog will be real good. We can take out two, the Teferi and the Jace. I don't think we're getting out of this though. How much more mana do we need? Yeah, 
I mean, let's, let's just move on. Alright, Vale of Summers. Seems like Return to Nature is going to be good. And I think we'll need some Shaper Sanctuary and Pithy Needles to just kind of like see what we can do to grind them out. It's a lot though. Am I bringing in too much? Here is the link to all, oh, oh, that's a massive massive link I just posted uh, one second Facebook redirects are the worst there you go I don't want these maybe I don't want the shaper sanctuary they're not really targeting us too much right they're playing a lot of rats and counters maybe I just want those Trim that and maybe the ballistas. Yeah, I ended up stopping that. Oh, really? I didn't see it on the. But like, it's my bad. Four. So close. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So I can go one, two, generate four, play another Nykthos to get over counter. They're just put into play. Four. was ready to concede. Alright, so you're saying bring back in the Kiora. You like Courser in this match? I guess it just helps us then our move our deck out, so I'll keep one Courser. I, I kinda wanna keep us at a decent amount of dorks. Mm, this hand's rough and not doing anything. 
So is this hand. I want to keep this, but the hand doesn't do anything. That first hand? That first hand was suspect. Like, no dorks, had a bunch of uh, high-end cards, like, and, and I don't think it could cast the Oko, right? Make that land they have big so I can read it. This one? Just taps for mana, and if they have Cities Blessing, they can pay five to draw a card. Definitely seems good in their kind of deck. There are bands tomorrow. It's most likely going to be a no ban, but there are bans tomorrow. But who knows? Maybe they'll ban Cat. 
seems weird, though. Some people have been talking about Nick Thills getting banned. They can't ban my silly face. My face is awesome. Easily top 10 faces. Two to four. These were left with if six, two goes down to four, adds that. Okay. Oh, I'm dumb. They have a set in play. They should be in my silly face for that play. I definitely did. This is already match four. Is there another deck you guys want to see? It's only nine o'clock. Green, black, hardened scales. I'm down to try that out. If you want to ship me the green, black, hardened scales list you want me to try out, I'm more than happy to play that next. That was also on my list of decks to play. Sweet. It's in there. I will pull it up. Got it. I did check the note.
Oh yeah, the nerf follow. don't think we're winning this game. Yeah, let's just go ahead and scoop it up. Alright, so so far this deck stomps any creature matchup. And then it seems to struggle with any control decks. And decks with more interaction. Once upon a time, finds us a forest, play the mystic, play the land, need one, oh, man, this hand does not seem like it's going to get there. I think we just keep this hand, pray for dorks. I think we can reasonably block. Do you think dropping this big old boy is good? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm just gonna pass, hold up the monstrous. So he wants to replace both Rishkars with two pushes. React right now. Eight. Okay, we're only going to be able to do this for one kill anyway, so it's fine. Makes sense. Like, honestly, I feel like you should just be, if you're going to be playing that, you might as well just play the other... Oh, that's awkward for us. It's gonna gain prowess. But if we do it right now, it's gonna be a first strike and trample. Okay. I think we still have to do it right now. makes sense. Whatever one you think would be more relevant, I'm cool to try out. It's going to give one of them plus two, plus one in first strike. We'll trade with that. Take three, go to three. Play a large ballista, kill off the other dude. <sighs> We're in critical range. Oh, they're just gonna draw a discard. I guess they see it as a it's uh, three damage either way. Attacking. Interesting. Really interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. great turn of events. I didn't want to swing first. If I swung first, 
Um, there's a chance he just double blocks, and then I can't kill the Royal Scions. Untap. of Ballista, swing with our dudes, shoot them for the rest. I dig it. We should have cast that once upon a time. That was a mistake. the aggro build so I think we just want to bring in those I don't really want to cut a ballista ballista seems pretty good Trim once upon a time. I don't know what's more important. Is it once upon a time or is it oath? I'm just playing around with the swaps right now. Instead of that Rish card, should we be playing what about uh, Vivian Reed? Uh, I saw another build do that with the plus one plus one counters. That way we can really just ramp up the ability to give ourselves trample and beat them out.
And then I'll also act as removal too, because we can use uh, Vivian to fight creatures. Okay. Ooh, the Storm Chaser made. We'd like to just keep hitting lands from now on. Okay, or we can just keep trying ley lines. Just dead. Go to one. Play that they swing, we die. Okay, let's just concede. Uh uh uh. and waiting for our opponent. Super exciting stuff. Yeah. Oh boy. 
guess this hand's ah, this hand's so slow. Uh, but it's kind of Prolucranos, I guess. But is that even good enough? I guess we'll keep. I'm just playing like an idiot. Deal us damage. Okay. No. Carrot. We'll finally get Perlucranos the next turn. You know, with the field of cards we have, I'm curious if there's just like a good, like, gruel aggro deck that I can just, like, run people over with. Kind of building off the other gruel aggro decks we've seen before. not really doing much. They're just trying to burn us out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One short.
to six. If we monstrous now, one, two, one, two, just for the plus two counter is seven, and then that's lethal. Right? I had two counters to it, it'll be seven, and then we hit with Ballista. Okay. Okay, we got a solid, another solid 3-2 deck. <laughs> Let's switch over to green-black hardened scales. <laughs> 